Hello, everyone. This is Clint with Got to Get It Done, uh, where I'd like to talk about technology and productivity and how to use technology to be productive. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, a combination of those, and that is multitasking on my Z Fold 2. One of the greatest things Android has is the ability to multitask. What I mean by multitasking is having two applications open at the same time. And although that's great on most Android phones, it's amazing on the big screen of the Z Fold 2. So I'm going to go through a couple ways that uh, multitasking works on the Z Fold 2 and how I actually use it uh, on a daily basis. Um, so thanks for thanks for watching and let's get started. Okay, everyone, uh, let's take a look at uh, how uh, a couple different ways that multitasking works on the Z Fold 2. Uh, two of them are pretty common, probably the most common ways. And then there's a third bonus one um, that works really well that probably uh, maybe some of you don't know about. Okay, I want to show you the first way uh, you can get the into a multitasking mode is if you open one app. And once that app is open, if you go to your slide bar here, and then you can take one of the apps that you have here on your sidebar, and just push and hold and then drag it right over there and then that'll open them both and so now you have an app on top an app on the bottom uh, you can resize these any way you want to um, you can actually flip them by just dragging anyways that's the first way uh, you can get into multitasking um, another way to do it, um, also another common way, is if you don't have a, the app you want to uh, multitask with here in your sidebar, you just uh, go to the task switcher, uh, click up here, and you have open and split screen view, open and pop-up view, which I'll talk about here in a second. Uh, and then so you just hit that, and then what it'll do is it'll open up um, all of your uh, applications. Um, and so then you can just click one of those and split it into... Uh, the screen that you want. So let's just say we have uh, Echo B here. I'm not sure why you would want to do this, but you could if you want to. Uh, now you notice that you have um, them side by side instead of one on top of the other. If you wanted to change that, you can just click that and then you can go back to side on top and top. Uh, or if you do want them on the side, you can do that. Uh, same thing works here. You can flip them around. Um, and then go back to any way you want them. And then you just drag off, go back to whatever one you're working on. Okay, a third bonus way to do this would be uh, if you're in an app and you keep getting a notification from a, a particular app and you wanna just leave that open, uh, you can kind of click and then drag and you can actually drag this directly from your um, notification bar, which is uh, pretty cool if you're working on something and you uh, like text messaging or if you're messaging somebody and uh, you just can drag that over there right over the top of whatever you're watching and then um, you're good to go. Um, so that's the three main ways uh, to get into multitasking mode. Uh, multitasking can be really useful sometimes. Uh, an example is say you have Chrome open and you're looking for some Rockies tickets um, or, you know, your, your tickets and you want to be able to see your calendar at the same time. Um, it's easy just to slide over your thing, put your calendar up, and now you can look at your calendar and scroll down here to look at the dates. You can hit, uh, the add, uh, event, uh, and do it right directly from here without going off of what you're looking at. This is very handy. Like if you're looking at the 30th, otherwise, you know, what you have to do is, um, you know, go back and forth between the apps as you check the date and then you go back and then you have to go back. So this makes it done all at one time. A uh, really, really handy feature here too is, is you could actually go back home. And um, if you go back home, you can see back into your app switcher that these two apps are still connected. So you can go back and, and go back to that pairing anytime you want to, which is uh, really handy. Another thing you can do here on Samsung phones is hit the three dots and then this little icon right here sends that over there. You saw the animation uh, as a app pair. And when you have these app pairs like this, then all you have to do is click that and it's going to open exactly how you saved it. Um, so if we close that, 
we come over here to app pairs <clears throat> and we can click that right there and then voila we have uh we have uh, the dates and this uh chrome all over again uh and your calendar works really well Another one that I use uh, often is uh, my financial one. So I have an app pair here with uh, with my uh, bank account and um, and my sheets. Uh, so I can go back and forth between my budgets. Um, this is a good example um, how you can use them both at the same time. Sheets, so I can look at my account and look at my budget at the same time. Uh, this is really, really handy. Another thing that's super handy here, which I want to show, especially when I'm doing financial work, uh, I could also then pull in uh, another app and I can put that into drop uh, pop-up view, which now I have a calculator. So if I'm doing any kind of calculations, I can just do them real quick here. And then if I'm still going to use it, you can minimize this. And as you can tell, it puts it up like a little floating dot. Uh, and then you can use your... Um, app them as much as you want uh, and then just bring it right back if you need to and then once you're done with it uh, you can close it uh, pretty handy pretty handy indeed another example i think that probably happens to a lot of us if we're on a long text string um, and it's um, going back and forth back and forth back and forth but you want to be able to do something uh, something else at the same time uh, this is another way you can easily uh, pop in here and let's just say uh, you want to do, let's go with uh, YouTube here. So say we have YouTube open um, at the same time. Now, if you're watching a video and uh, this at the same time might not be the best. Uh, so it might be better if you go like this. And now you have your video up here and your uh, message down here. And so you can do them both at the same time. Um, so you can be watching your video while you're, you're messaging, um, which works really well. Now, another little uh, feature that Z Fold 2 has also, as you can't forget, is you can rotate this, uh, which then um, gives you completely different um, scenarios here. So you can put this one back to side by side, but now you see you have a much better uh, use scenario here. They're a little bit wider, so it's pretty easy to uh, do this this way. Uh, another, so if you flip these back, let's say, and then another cool thing you can do with Samsung's phones is if you click that there, you get this normal split keyboard, which is what you use, or what well, I use a lot on my Fold 2, um, but you can also go to mini mode. Um, you can go, I'm sorry, you can go to full mode here and then you can go to mini mode. And so mini mode allows you to um, move this around wherever you wanted to. So if you're answering text, um, you can do that while your video is still playing. Um, and it works pretty, it works uh, pretty well. And then you can just uh, back out of that and get rid of your thing and then just pop it right back up again. Um, however you want to do it, it works really good. Uh, another thing you can do is, uh, let's say you're uh, on a long text message string and you're going back and forth and it's a little boring, but so you want to be able to play a game at the same time. Uh, that is something you can do also, uh, which I think is amazing that you can <laughs> completely do that. So if you open in slow book screen mode and let's, uh, let's get a game, you can text and, um, and play the game at the same time. Let's see what we got here. Uh, how about Subway Surfer? Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's loading up perfectly. You still have your text messages over here. Um, and then you can get uh, good to go. And, of course, you know, the power of this guy uh, has no problem uh, doing something like this. Uh, so you can play. And then let's say um, you, you're ready to start talking. So then you can go back over here, text what you want to text. Um, get back out of there and then continue continue with your game. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I think you can probably one of the few phones you can do that on. Okay, one of the app pairs that I like to use a lot, um, just so I can get it over with really quick. And what I mean by get it over with is uh, I can just get both of my uh, social media platforms that I review. And that's uh, here where we got uh, Facebook and Instagram. And as you can tell, they work j independently, just great. You can scroll them as you scroll. And if you're really good, you can scroll them both at the same time and get your uh, efficiently get all your <laughs> social media out. But I don't know how, how good that's going to be. Um, 
One thing I, w- I do want to mention here at, uh, is that you saw that little pop-up that says um, apps uh, may not work in split screen. Uh, not every app is designed uh, to work in split, split screen. Um, and if it's not designed straight out of the box, it won't work in the split screen. So the uh, app you need to, to get, I highly recommend, is GoodLock if you haven't got it already. Um, and that would be uh, right here if you go to the store. store. So if you go to the Galaxy Store... Um, and then you open uh, download good lock, which is not available everywhere from what I understand But if it is available, I would recommend it. So go to good lock um, There's uh, I, this this could be several different videos to talk all about good lock um, But and then you want to download it here and so then once you open it uh, there is a module inside called multi-star um, and so you want to click on that module right there and it has a little setting here that says enable uh, multi-window to all apps. And what it does is it forces every app to uh, be able, able to go to uh, multi-window, which I highly recommend. Um, and it works most of the time. There's some apps that don't work well um, that uh, still get a little weird, um, but this particular, uh, but they still usually work. Um, they, they're still usually usable if you need to quickly go into them in a split screen mode. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, uh, this can be uh, really handy for a lot of things, um, especially if you're like, uh, you know, scrolling some, um, you know, some uh, internet or if you're on some messages. I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want to in split screen, like say you want to quickly jump into um, uh, Google Home and you want to like control your thermostat and your lights or whatever you're, you're doing at the same time that you're uh, doing something else, uh, you can do that, and it works really well with most apps. Uh, it's kind of however your workflow works. Uh, I'm sure you can make um, multi multitasking uh, work really well for you. Well, everyone, that's what I wanted to show today in today's video. Um, I'm kind of working on uh, how I use my Fold every day. I'm going to make that a, a separate video of actually how I use it. Uh, so, you know, stick around for that one if you want to watch it. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe if you uh, like this video. If you want some more uh, content like this, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, until then, um, I'll see you on the next video.